week. It's, it's a new challenge. It's, it's a new opponent. Uh, it, it's very exciting. Don't get me wrong. It's very exciting to be in this position to be the last four teams playing right now. But uh, we have to really key in and lock in on what's at hand right now and try to honestly just living in the moment because, you know, we're only guaranteed to go down this road one time. Uh, I never won a championship in anything ever, you know what I'm saying? So to be in this position is, is definitely a truly blessing. How much, obviously, you're still early in your career. How, how, how happy are you for a guy like Jarrell, who's been here for nine years, was on teams that won two games and things like right. that, to be able to bask in this moment and prepare for it? Yeah, no, I, I, I can guarantee you one thing. He's definitely living in the moment. Uh, he's been through all the ups and downs of this franchise. I'm um, definitely happy for him, definitely happy for the game that he had last week because we're going to need another game like that this week. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of guys in here. Kenny, this is his first time actually playing in the playoffs when he's in New Orleans. He was hurt. So he's been able to experience this and winning playoff games. Tannehill. My first, Tannehill. And uh, it's it just been awesome. Like I said, man, guys are accomplishing a lot of things in their career. So you want to, you, that makes you want to keep playing harder for the guys so they can keep playing and keep playing. Uh, so we can, like you said, try to take this thing all how the way. Much, how much does Mahomes' ability to throw from different arm angles give you as a defender one more thing to have to prepare for? Man, I, we, we have to trust our technique. We can't really get caught up on. I mean, we understand it. We have to be aware that this guy is dangerous, that he can make every single play, that when, you know, when we think we got a guy covered, we have to continue to plaster with receivers because this guy can, I mean, I wouldn't call him Deshaun Watson, but he's kind of Houdini-ish when it comes to be able to make all those different throws. We just have to trust our technique, know where our help is as far as in the defense, and, and, and just play and just keep challenging these guys and, you know, hope that he'll make a mistake. You see the quarter they had, that second quarter, Houston last week. How much does that raise your antennas to know that no matter what, you cannot let up on that, on that group? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of something that I've been talking to the guys, you know, this entire postseason that, you know, we have to really just play with poise and not getting caught up in the moment. Uh, I was watching the game, you know, and it, was, it took him like six, seven minutes and those guys were up. It was unbelievable. But uh, I don't want to be that team to be shocked that, you know, these, this team can score 21 points that fast. We're not going to be shocked by anything. So it's about not really truly getting frustrated when this team scores a touchdown or they make a big play. Hey, let's go out there, forget it. It was the last play and challenge them again and just keep doing it and keep doing it, you know, for all 60 minutes. Is Williams kind of an underrated part of their offense? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, guys want to talk about Kelsey and Hill and everybody else, but I think he, he's done a great job. Uh, especially out the backfield, catching the ball and running the ball as well. He's a hard runner. So uh, we just understand that we have to play our best ball. Everybody that's going to be out there on the field it has, it's going to take all 11 to win this game. It's not going to be about hey, just covering this guy, covering that guy. We have to cover the entire field and try to play the best ball that we could possibly play. You mentioned Kelsey. I mean, how much, how much of a pain in the butt is he to deal with sometimes? Yeah, because, I mean, this guy, he, he, can, he can go rogue sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I've I seen a clip on social media where he was talking to Mahomes on the sideline, like, hey, I can't believe that you knew I was going to do that. And it didn't seem like it was probably caught in the huddle or whatever. So, I mean, those guys just have a great connection with each other. Uh, he's an elite tight end. Probably, I mean, my opinion, is the best tight end in, in the league right now. So uh, to be able to have I look at it as a great opportunity to go out there and, and be able to play against him again, as I did earlier in the year. So, you know, we're going to go out there, we're going to challenge him, we're going to try to hit him, uh, and do what we can to try to slow him down. You kind of alluded to it, but just, you know, the, the, the staying focused this week and not worrying about what this game means and all that. How, right. how important is that going to be for you guys? It's important because that's what's got us to this point. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's not, you know, we understand there's a lot more cameras in here this week, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more media attention and different things like that. But at the end of the day, uh, we've earned, we earned that. But the way we earned it is by continuing to work hard, keeping our head down, staying humble, and understanding that, hey, I mean, Vrabel kind of alluded to it. You know, we're kind of street rats in here. You know what I'm saying? We just do what we got to do, do what's necessary to go win ball games, And that's what's going to give us the opportunity to be able to win this ball game. Not, you know, getting caught up in, in the moment of, of the game, uh, the crowd and stuff like that. Just stay poised, man. Just do what we've been doing. And uh, we'll, we'll see where it is at the end of the game. You guys kind of undersold the whole underdog thing, but Jarrell kind of admitted when we talked to him earlier that, yeah, we kind of like being the other dog. We like shutting people up and proving them wrong. Is that is that the, kind of the underlying thing here with you guys? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, we've been underdogs in every single game this playoffs. I think we've been underdogs for, I mean, since I've been here with the Tennessee Titans, we're always underdogs. Uh, and I, I would kind of say, yeah, we do relish that, you know. I feel like it's, it's, it's not a bad place to be, in my opinion. Uh, people are counting us out. People are always going to count us out. So that should make you go into the game you know, feeling like, I mean, 
feeling less pressured, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Because if nobody's expecting you to do anything, why not go out there and prove them wrong? So uh, that's the mentality. That's what I kind of try to preach to the guys at the end of the day, man. Everybody already counting us out. Let's go out there and do something special. So uh, that's what we need to go do.